Hello guys, my name is George Wilkinson and I'd like to welcome you back to this channel. This is the Global Scholar YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, I share useful information for anyone planning to study abroad. This includes tips on how to secure offers to some of the leading educational institutions in the world, the latest scholarship opportunities and how to apply for them, travel advice, free courses and more. And so if you love stuff like this, please subscribe to this channel and let's grow this community together. Let's jump straight into today's video. And in today's video, the topic or what I'm about to discuss, I believe is very, very important and uh, concerns international students. And I really want international students to really give me their ear and give me their attention uh, for this video and watch all the way to the end, because I believe that the topic or what I'm about to discuss, is super, super important. If you know an international student or somebody who is already living in the UK, uh, please be sure to pass this video on to them and get them to watch this video as well. I am talking about uh, the post-study work visa and a petition that has been started about the possibility of renewing um, this particular visa and making it count towards permanent residency. Now, if you know or you may not know, the post-study work visa is a visa that allows international students to stay, live and work in the UK after their studies in the UK for a minimum of two years. I have a video that I talk all about it. I'll link it in the description box below. But essentially, this visa is non-renewable. And so if you are on this visa stream after your two years or your three years, and you haven't been able to migrate onto another visa stream, you are required to pack your stuff and go back home. Now, the sentiments and the opinions I'm sharing are my personal opinions, and I don't mean in any way to shoot down this particular visa stream, um, but there are advantages and there are disadvantages to this visa stream. The obvious advantage is that it gives you the opportunity to live and stay and work in the UK for a minimum of two years. However, the disadvantage to this period that is given is that some employers find this period too short to actually employ individuals who are on this particular visa stream. In assessment, one may think that, you know, the two years is enough time to be able to transition to another visa stream. Uh, however, that's not as straightforward as it it may look. Yes, there is the possibility to find a company that has a sponsor's license and to be able to move from the graduate visa to the skilled worker visa. But I believe that this all requires a bit more time. And so this conversation is something that has been going on amongst the circles of international students. And just recently, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and I was you know, sharing my sentiment that I believe that this post-study work visa should be renewable and should count towards uh, permanent residency. One of the reasons why I believe that it must count towards permanent residency or should be renewed is because the UK government has quite a number of visa streams. Aside the skilled worker visa, there is also the global talent visa and you know other visa types that are available. I also know of the fact that the UK government just this year is about to introduce not less than three new visa streams that will allow or offer individuals outside of the UK to come into the UK to live and work. And so my question is that if you have given individuals who are already in the UK, um, who have come to the UK to study and to also invest in the UK's economy, why don't you extend the opportunity for them to extend their stay um, and to continue to contribute to the UK's economy because as compared to those who are now coming into the system, they have become more uh, familiar with the system. They are not required to present any English language capabilities because they have studied for at least a year in the UK. And so for me personally, I believe that it just makes sense to give them the opportunity to renew their stay and to continue to live and find work and to contribute to the UK's economy. Interestingly, after this conversation that I was having with uh, my friend, a few days after my friend sent me a link um, to a campaign that has been started by an international student. This campaign is pushing for the UK government to make the post-study work visa renewable and to make it count towards permanent residency. As it stands now, you can't come to the UK and study uh, for your master's, that's probably a year, and uh, stay on for an additional two years on the post-study work visa. But these three years, they don't count towards permanent residency. However, this campaign that is being circulated now is pushing for this narrative to be changed. Personally, I believe that this is a fantastic campaign. Upon seeing the campaign myself, um, when the link was sent to me, it already has uh, over 10,000 signatures that has 
you know, been sent over or has been signed under the campaign. And the goal of this campaign is to push to over 100,000 signatures because once the campaign has over 100,000 signatures, um, the issue will be brought to the UK Parliament for it to be debated. And so thereby giving it an opportunity or the chance for um, this to be considered. And so the reason why I'm making this video is that I want us to take a look at the campaign and I want every international student out there who is watching this video to go ahead and append their signatures and to support this because I believe that it will benefit us. And if you are out there and you are looking at coming to study in the UK, I believe that this is a very good thing. If you know somebody in the UK, please push this campaign, send this link to them, send this video to them for them to watch and to support this campaign because if this gets approved and you come to the UK to come and study, it means that after your study and you are granted your post-study work visa, it will be renewable and it will count towards permanent residency. And so what I'll do right now is that I will jump onto my laptop with you and go over this campaign, um, share the details with you and share with you how you can get involved. All right guys, so this is the petition that I've just been talking about. Um, so I think that the UK Parliament has a special uh, petitions page or some sort of portal that people can put in petitions. I didn't know about this, so here we go. So it basically says here, um, the petition says make the graduate visa extendable and count towards resident, a permanent residency. So um, the details, it says that the government should allow the newly introduced graduate visa to be extendable and for holders of this visa to become eligible for permanent residency after five years. So to buttress what I was saying earlier, it says here that international applicants, when they are applying for a job, I suppose here, yeah, that you know they are denied the opportunity to engage in a fair application process simply because they have a graduate visa instead of you know a British passport or um, indefinite leave to remain. I have experienced this personally. Um, I recently, interviewed for a job. I went through the first uh, stage. I got to the second stage where I was interviewed, where I was interviewed by uh, the chief executive officer of the organization. And one of the questions he asked me was, you know, what visa stream um, that I was on? And, you know, in his engagement with me, he tried to ascertain how long or a period I have, you know, remaining on my visa. And though this was not explicitly shared with me in you know, the reasons why I wasn't given the job. I have a very strong hunch that this issue of the visa type that I am on, you know, contributed to me not getting um, the job. And if you put yourself in this, the shoes of these organizations, in, in some way, somehow it makes sense because they are in for the long term. They wouldn't want to, you know, go through the, the process or put in the resources of hiring an individual only for the individual to have to leave their role at the end of um, just a short period of time having you know been employed by the company they would want to obviously go in for an individual who has um, a better arrangement in terms of their ability to take on the job for a longer period of time yes it is what it is but um, what i am interested in is how far this can go so it says here that we have, as at the time of filming this video, the petition has um, over 14,000 signatures. And it says that the government will respond to all petitions that get more than 10,000 signatures. So as it stands now, this petition um, is waiting for a response from government. Uh, but then it goes on to say, say that um, at 100,000 signatures, this petition will be considered for debate in parliament. and. Um, this is where personally I want to see this get to, that this petition should be able to be debated in Parliament, you know, for possible consideration um, in terms of what we are asking that this visa should be renewable or should be extended and should count towards um, permanent residency. And so the individual who created this petition is called Ayo Lawal, and the campaign is running all the way to October 22nd of this year. And so if you come on this page, you there's a you have the option to share this on Facebook, you have the option to share this uh, via email, on Twitter, um, wherever you, you want. I will link this petition in the description box below. Guys, I want you to share this with friends, 
with loved ones, individuals, anybody you know that lives in the UK. And so um, if you're outside of the UK, unfortunately, you cannot sign this petition as I, I, I know. You will need to fill in your name and some personal information and your postcode. So obviously, if you're outside of the UK, you may not have um, a UK postcode and so you cannot sign this petition. And so if you are in the UK, I urge you to sign this, especially international students. If you have, if you are outside of the UK and you have friends in the UK, please send this to them. If you have relatives in the UK, please send this to them. Help this petition get to 100,000 signatures. Let's see how far this uh, petition goes. So if you click sign petition, it says uh, only British citizens or UK residents have the right to sign you know anyone who is a british citizen or res currently resident in the uk uh, they can sign this so they, they just have to tick here um, fill in their name their email address um, their postcode and then hit continue and that's about it so guys share this video share the link that i'll put in the description box below let's push this petition to 100,000 signatures and let's see how this campaign goes fingers crossed all right guys i hope this video was helpful um i believe that this is a very good campaign that we all should be supporting and so like i said earlier please circulate this video to friends who are already in the uk to loved ones if you are already in the uk you are a student please share with your friends with all international students even uh, students who are british students who support this idea share it with them and let's get this into parliament to be debated one thing that i'm trying to do is that i'm trying to contact um, the individual who started this campaign and to make a video with him or her um, just so that we can have a conversation and talk more about this um, I will also be bringing you regular updates about how this campaign is going, how many signatures it has gathered so far and the general progress of this campaign. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to pop it in the comment section below. If you want to send me an email, my email address is myglobalscholar at gmail.com. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. We are almost at 1k subscribers. Subscribe to this channel and let's grow this community together. Until I come your way again, my name is George. Peace. Bye-bye.